Hello there, welcome to my channel, and in this video I'll talk about, well, these are like my top 5 favorite movies, so let's get into it. In at number 5, we have Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Now this movie was very good because its emotional aspect as well as it, its story are all what sells this movie. But this movie's problem is being in the MCU or rather at the dark face of MCU. This movie does have its fair share of MCU tropes which makes it a little lower at this list. But overall if I have to say this movie would have been much higher if not for the unnecessary humor. In this movie, when James Gunn goes overboard with, with his humor, it was not like organic. But overall, throughout the movie, I enjoyed it. Yeah, this is in this list. In at number 4, we have the movie Evil Dead Rise. Now, this movie is pretty solid for what it is. Now, having seen so many horror movies, I expected this movie to be either lackluster or an okay movie. But after watching the movie, I was pretty shocked because it was like really very awesome. And seeing some homages to the original evil dead as well as a lot of creative stuff in this movie made me fall in love with this movie this year there had been a lot of female-led movies and most of the times the characters are shoved down our throat but this movie doesn't do that rather makes an organic story which makes us feel for the characters root for the characters and support some of their decision which in grand scheme of things would have made little sense but for the movie it made a lot of sense and it was pretty solid so in at number 3 we have Oppenheimer. Now this movie is not the best of Christopher Nolan's movies but this movie is pretty solid cause if you just do a little google search you would know the story about Oppenheimer but what Christopher Nolan did was made it a non-linear story and, and made it pretty intriguing and the actors in this movie they did their best so all in all this movie was pretty good. In at number 2, we have the movie which someone may consider to be a perfect sequel. Well, it's Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Now, as I already said, this is a perfect sequel because the first Spider-Verse movie, Into the Spider-Verse, was mostly like setting up the Spider-Verse as well as the characters of Miles Morales, Peter B. Parker. So, in this movie, they got a benefit where we already know about these characters. So, whenever they introduce new characters, they didn't have to go overboard or it doesn't feel like exposition heavy. So, I enjoy this movie and they perfected a perfect formula with the Spider-Verse movies. So, I'm excited for the third movie which is coming 24, 25, I'm not sure. Now, here is the drum roll music which I'm not going to add, so ding 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 or whatever. So, in at number 1, we have the movie which is also a sequel, once again, a perfect sequel. It's John Wick 4. Now the name of this movie is enough because if you have seen this movie, which I'm pretty sure you might have, you know it deserves to be on this list and it probably deserves to be on top of many people's list because this story is a perfect conclusion to John Wick. Now I know this movie made a lot of money so this is definitely not the conclusion. So overall for now, this is last John Wick movie and the movie handles that pretty perfectly. Now this movie has all sort of creative action moments, great story arcs and John Wick or Keanu Reeves as John Wick is just awesome and the other supporting actors are also pretty solid for their roles so all in all this is my favorite so it's on the top and that's all for today's video and let me know in the comments whether you watch these movies or not and maybe also comment about your top 5 favorite movies of this year now i'm not calling this a definitely the top 5 movies but rather this is my favorite top 5 movies so we can differ 